Hi, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. Um, today we're going to make berries and cream French toast, croissant French toast to be specific. So you're going to start by separating your eggs. Um, you want just yolks actually for just for both the French toast and for the creme anglaise. Creme anglaise. I'm not French. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but whatever. Um, so you're going to take your yolks and the sugar and mix that together. And that's going to be the yolk mixture for your creme anglaise. Um, you're also going to take the rest of your yolks and combine that with sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, heavy cream. And I think that's it for your French toast custard. So I'm using this really delicious croissant toast. Um, you can use regular croissants or any bread that you want. Um, so you make your creme anglaise. Creme anglaise. You make that shit by um, pouring your milk and your cream into a saucepan and heating that up and over medium heat until they're kind of bubbles on the edges. Um, after it's heated through, you're going to temper in the yolk mixture, which you'll see me do in a minute. I am multitasking, so it's all ready at the same time. Um, and I'm working on that berry compote, which is super simple. It's just mixed berries, strawberry jam, and sugar, and lemon juice. And you just cook it until it thickens a bit. So here's that tempering process that I said. Um, you don't wanna just pour the yolks into the milk because they might scramble and you don't want that. Now once the yolks are brought up to temp, um, you're gonna put everything back in the saucepan and continue to cook it. Um, usually it takes about five to seven minutes to get right here. You need to coat the back of the spoon and then you're gonna pour it through a strainer just to catch any lumps and set it aside. Um, you can eat it warm or cold. Um, I set it on the counter just to have it kind of lukewarm. I'm also making turkey and eggs, just ignore that. Um, but as you can see, I am dipping my croissant uh, bread into the custard for your French toast. You don't wanna let it soak because it kind of ruins the layers in the croissant toast or in the croissants if that's what you're using. So make sure it's just kind of a light coating. Um, cook it for a few minutes on both sides. It's up to you how brown you want it. I do usually three or four minutes and then you serve it. So I thought you guys might want to see how I plated it. Nothing fancy, just kind of making sure that you get a bit in every bite. And I don't do French toast without powdered sugar, so that's pretty necessary. Um, the vanilla custard and the berries, and it's it, this is really delicious. And I'm, I don't even really go up for dessert or breakfast, but it's really good. Anyway. I really appreciate you watching as always, you know, thanks for taking this time out of your day. Have a good one.